Day eight of training camp. We're getting there. And today was a pretty good day. What is up, fan fans? Day eight of training camp in the books. Defensive dominant day. There was some good offensive plays here and there, but mostly a defensive dominant day. And <clears throat> for the second day in a row, I did not hear any botched snaps too low, too high, to this, to that. So, so far, so good. We're going to jump into this. They talked to Anthony Weaver um, before practice. He said, if you don't step on the field with confidence, you have no chance on that field. He also says, things you love about Cater is his competitiveness. I love his confidence. Dolphins' Anthony Weaver said, year two, Cam Smith was playing some of his best ball before recently getting injured. Hopefully, it's nothing serious, and he'll be back before the season starts, or at least... <clears throat> I'm looking at the schedule that I wrote on my board. At least when I go there, the 15th, it's got like two more weeks and I'm heading down. I'm so excited. Weaver said Chop Robinson has been as advertised, asked about setting the edge in the run game. He said it's non-negotiable, negotiable, <laughs> negotiable, you know, for him. Uh, sounds like Jalen Phillips is progressing tremendously based on uh, Anthony Weaver's comments. I got some videos of lateral movement and if you know anything about lower leg injuries lateral movement is a huge proprietor to getting on that field there was some lateral movement there's some running there's he's getting close <clears throat> he's getting real close to a tongue of Aloha, rocking the orange jersey and apparently his playlist was absolutely amazing people were happy about it he was feeling it uh, if I was a Miami Dolphin and I got the orange jersey, I feel like people would absolutely hate my playlist with like Kill Switch Engage, Lamb of God, Miss May I, Periphery. I throw in some like Alice in Chains and some Pearl Jam, Metallica, but I feel like people would be like, Doug's not allowed to have the orange jersey anymore. Uh, Jalen Waddle and, and GM Chris Greer spent the entire special team period chopping it up. Greer does this. Regularly with his top players. A day after his struggling at left tackle on Thursday, Kendall Lamb is getting right tackle day. This is normal, so they're kind of switching them back and forth. Tyreek Hill isn't here today. Might be, might not be working. Might show up 50 minutes into practice. He does show up. Him and um, Waddle got some work done today. Here, this is from Omar Kelly. Uh, watching Jalen Phillips run laterally for the first time, he might be a month away from resuming football activities. Just a guess. I'm not a doctor. Only play uh, <clears throat> one on, on for newspapers. Phillips isn't that far. He's running full speed. <coughs> <coughs> Somebody's choking me. They don't want me to talk about Jalen Phillips. Fairest than I've ever seen the D lineman run. Please. I'm telling you. This is my thought process on Daniel Phillips. Doesn't start the year on the pup. And first game is against Seattle. Either Seattle is his first game back or Tennessee home. Is that a Monday night game? It is a Monday night game. It's at 730. One of those two. I don't think he sucks the year on the pup. I could be wrong. Miami Dolphins special team coach Danny Crossman is engaged in conversation with s several officials here. I can guess they are talking about the kickoff rule, that new crazy kickoff rule. Also from Omar Kelly, Jalen Phillips is laterally showing off his lateral movement skills. Drop back right in front of me. He's close. He's close. Again, love to see him out there. Tua has dropped one in the bucket to Braylon Sanders. He's so impressive in the area of accuracy and touch. Um, Cater Kohu was on coverage on that one. Uh, besides the Weaver speed comment, uh, that was interesting today. The fact Jalen Phillips is doing lateral work again, a lot of lateral work. Uh, Jason Sarney, my buddy, was down there. He says Malik Washington beat the defender for 45 yard touchdown. Mike White throws a pick to Jason Matry, uh, would have been a pick six. You guys know how I feel about Mike White. 
I feel bad. Like I beat up on him, and I'm very overly critical of Mike White. But it's just, I, three point five million. That's all I'm gonna say. Waddle's now on the field. Let's see how much he does. Same with Tyree Kill. Like I said, they both ended up on the field. One on one notes. Braylon Sanders has an uh, has some easy gas, quick uh, out of the breaks. I'm hearing really good things about Sanders. Chop Robinson has the speed to push, uh, to power rush through Austin Jackson. Will Snead looks sharp with his release. Uh, first step, first rep of team was quite the tone setter. Ramsey takes on Aaron Brewer block, which is interesting. Uh, John U lowers a shoulder. David Long comes over and puts him on, uh, puts a hit on him. A little chippy to start. So you got Jalen Ramsey taking on a block from Brewer. Oh, it's probably a run play. I'm like, is he blitzing up the middle? What is going on there? Ramsey starts uh, Raheem Mostert. Bangs one on the inside with a nice lane from Keon Smith, but Javon Holland comes from deep and puts a shoulder pad on the football, forcing a fumble. I do have video of that. Bell uh, gets a pressure that forces Tua off his spot. Tua scrambles for a short gain. Tyreek runs past the defense, so the pressure the pressure probably saved a long touchdown. Sanders gets open in a deep intermediate, and White rips one to him. Sanders putting together a solid week. I'm, I keep hearing Braylon Sanders' name over and over and over, whether it's his speed, his catching, all that stuff. Patrick Paul and Julian Hill wipe out the defensive edge and spring Jeff Wilson uh, to a run for 10 before first contact by Keter Kohu. Jalen Wright has another nice run where he hits the hole at full speed into the second level before first contact. Kamara gets upfield on Rucci, uh, blocks and forces Wilson's bubble on his track, strings it out to the side for no gain. Sagan Neal reads uh, a little flip outside, puts a stick on Chris Brooks in the backfield. Quentin Bell, again, another guy I'm hearing a lot from, so far, crosses face on Ryan Hayes and forces Skyler to flee. Channing Tyndall, how many days in a row have I said that man's name? Beats him to the edge and forces the throw away. Sealer uh, getting into the passing window on a swing and Tua puts it in the stands. Good. Smart. Just get rid of the ball. Tua finds Waddle for a pickup of 20 over the middle between the triangle of defenders. That's his bread and butter there. Durham Smythe has a pancake off the edge. But Ramsey and uh, DeLong beat uh, the block to blow up a most run. Physical run day today. They are wearing pads if you couldn't pick up on that. Jalen Wright hits the second level and drops a shoulder. Marcus May is there, but he gave his five yards of ground before Wright actually slowed down, simulating a tackle. He hits the line with conviction every time he gets it, and there's a runaway. Odell Beckham on the other half of the side of the field sprinting so hopefully we see him sooner rather than later he comes off the pup coverage has been fantastic today safeties are seeing it and playing it fast Kato who does a, gr a good job staying in phase uh, on Waddle and preventing him from from a head whip to get back outside on a deep shot from Tua that falls incomplete if you can't tell so when I'm reading these play-by-plays if you can't tell it's Travis Wingfield. Man, is so descriptive with his plays. I love it. Uh, Kamar draws a hold from Keon Smith. Quickness from Keon to grab some jersey. Patrick Morris, uh, Johnny on the spot for the pick from Mike White. Isn't that what? That's a second pick from him today. Isaiah Johnson undercut the route and was there for the pick, but it glances right off his hands and into the bread basket of Nick Morris. Grayson Murphy, another guy. Quentin Bell, Grayson Murphy are guys that I keep hearing. Very good things. For, with an interesting rush move that impacts the quarterback, looks like a Euro step. Waddle catches uh, one on the sideline and makes a quick juke inside to get a pair of defenders to overrun him. <clears throat> he says, gosh, he just looks like a different level this year. I mean, we saw him training in the offseason, how crazy he's been. Tua, uh, Tua went to specifically talk to the old linemen before we moved into the next 11 on 11 series. They have been average, not good or bad. That is the thing. And Tua had an interview with Sirius Radio, I think. And I'm going to talk about that on Sunday. I'm going to make a video about that interview on Sunday because he said some really interesting things. But he is taking his leadership role to another level. 
and I'm, we're gonna talk about that on Sunday. I'm gonna make a video Sunday, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Weaver dials up the blitz that heats Tua up, throws to Tyreek. Elijah Campbell undercuts it, uh, but drops the pick. More quick decision making from Skyler. Uh, catch throw to Johnu down the seam for twelve. Love hearing that. I'm telling you, have Skyler be the backup. I like Skylar Thompson. I want to see Skylar do something here. Uh, Jonathan Harris sack. Nice little uh, swipe and dip under the block of his man to kill the play. Matry triggers into the backfield for a bug loss on. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like Travis Wingfield with his analogies and stuff. Jalen Wright carry. Matry continues to make some noise. I think that's how you sp uh, pronounce his name. M A M A I T R E. Matry. Ramsey and, and D Long fit uh, David Long. If you don't know who DeLong is, fit up on the inside run for Mozart Ramsey. Uh, involvement in run fits is kind of silly considering he's a corner. Dude just makes plays. He's going to be all over the field. Tua to Ingold converts a third and one. He puts the ball in Heem's belly, which brought David Long down like a missile for a big collision. But Tua pulls it and flips it to the fullback. So it's like, whoop. I'm telling you, he's, he's, he's feeling it. <clears throat> wouldn't be so sure that Cyrus Neal is just a special team guy. He's been active every day. He fills, he flies around, he hits, he competes his butt off. Him and Jeff Wilson just had a collision and dapped each other after uh, Jeff puts his fair share of DBs on the ground in the past. Maybe that's why he came here. Not only is he a special teamer, but they were like, listen, we we want to see what you could do here and there, too. Tyreek Hill drop, uh, drop cro coming across the middle on a Mike White bullet pass to his chest. Um, this is from Omar Kelly. Practice day was filled with flags. I hate hearing that. Might not be double digits, but it's at least minimum nine. The team has stuff to clean up. Refs at practice seem important. Vic Fangio used to throw flags when refs weren't there. Miami needs some to, someone to do it again. Yeah. Especially because that was a killer for us. Nick Needham on a stellar pass breakup in the middle of the secondary diving crowd gives him props. Tua throws a couple of balls to the perimeter today that really caught my eye. This is from Travis Wingfield. Like the one he just writ to Johnny Smith. Third and short, Johnny breaks off a quick route. Corner uh, is right underneath it, but Tua rips a fastball high and away to where J J Janu can only get it. Nick Dinam checks in with a diving pass breakup, eyed Skyler and cut under the throat intermediate. Tua is picked by Bonner on a deep shot to Tyreek Hill. Uh, it was deep into the read, but the time he let it go, it basically turned into a jump ball. It's kind of late of a throw. And that's what I got for you today for on the field stuff. And now we are going to look at some film. And this one is of Jalen Phillips. Look at Jalen Phillips moving. That's Jalen Phillips moving. Again, I don't know how far away he is, but let's go, baby. Another one here for you. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, I catch that, man. He's too used to Tyreek Hill's speed. <laughs> uh, Malik Washington, nice grab here. There you go. We need those. We need those. Which one's this? Uh, this is Tua to Waddle and 11 on 11s. Nice. Over the middle. Nothing too not too crazy. Just a nice little completion there. This is the forced fumble uh on uh Raheem Mostert. It was like it was like a one two pop that did it. You got this one right here, boom. And then boom. That shoulder knocked the ball out. Hey, this defense might be more dangerous. They might be ready before me saying, uh, what did I say? Week four or something? This is Tua to Sanders. This is from Tommy from Hialeah. 
Nice catch. That was a one-handed catch. He had the guy all over him. I think it was Cater Kohu. Just blanketing him. Um, this one is... I think we already saw this one. This is makeup play for Mostert. Holding on to the ball. The guy in motion was Willie Will Sneed too, right here, 82. And the other thing, because a lot of people are worried about our essential, uh, the cheat motions that they call it. If they if they were getting rid of it, we wouldn't be practicing it. So I wouldn't stress it. I would not stress it. But that's what I got for you guys today. I will see you later tonight. I'm thinking 7:30. I will be live. Uh, doing a Q&A, hanging out again for about an hour, 7.30 to 8.30. We'll hang out. You guys have any questions for me, ask away. But on that, like usual, stay classy. My friends up.